Have you been overwhelmed and completely burdened with the amount of things you've got to do? Are you one of these people that has a long string of tasks on your notes app? Or do you have about a million post-it notes plastered all over your desk with things you've got to do in the course of the average day? If that's you, then this video is for you. We're taking a look at thing three. Let's go through the app and see what it has to offer. So there is one thing that I really want to share with you, which will make this app absolutely incredible. Stick around to the end to find out what that is. So I've created a demo account um, for the purposes of this tutorial. So I'm gonna talk you through the interface. This isn't intended to be a deep tutorial, but just intended to give you the highlights, the nuts and bolts, if you will, of the app. So first of all, you've got something called the inbox. Now the inbox is basically where you dump all your initial thoughts. That way you can sort them out in the course of the day uh, and put them in the right place later on. So what we could do here is just put eat dinner with Michael. And that's a task that we've got to do. We can then uh, later on, you know, when we've got some downtime, um, you can then go to move and you can decide where to put that task later on. Also, a great feature of this app is you get your own dedicated email address. So if you're on your computer and you want to just quickly email yourself, you can email the task to your inbox and it lands in here and then you can um, sort it out later on. So that's a really useful feature. So we looked at the inbox you can come out of there. And the next bit to talk about really is this area down here. And this is called areas. Um, so you can basically create an area for any area of your life. So I, in this demo account, I've got a work area. I've got a my tasks for sort of personal things. I've got a YouTube area and I've even got a family area as well. So if we go into my tasks, you can see I've set up a few tasks. Uh, in preparation for this um, and if I want to create a new one I just hit the plus button and then I can put down meet up with the Queen um, because I'm filming this over the Jubilee weekend in England so why not so let's add another task so if I click on the plus button I can create a new task and if we say submit submit my photography coursework, then um, what I can actually do here, I'm greeted with a few options, if you will. If we then click on the calendar, uh, we can set it to today. You've also got this evening as an option, and you can also set it to someday. So someday is things that you just, you know you need to do, but there's no real deadline, there's no major pressure, so you just put it on your list as something you want to go back to. Um, the only problem is with that is I'm not very good at looking at Sunday, so don't forget about the Sunday things. But um, but yeah, that can be quite hard to remember to do sometimes. Um, if we click on this deadline button, um, we can say the deadline for this coursework is Monday the 13th of June. Um, but I'm planning, if we then click on the calendar, uh, we can say that I'm planning to do the coursework on Thursday, uh, probably in the evening but I'm gonna do it on Thursday. I can then put some notes down there if I want. Also, I could do a checklist, so I could um, just do a quick checklist. So it might be research the subject, uh, take, take some photos, um, and you can come up with as many as, as you want if, if that's what you need to do. Um, so that's all well and good. You can also use tags as well. So um, if, if that's you know something you want to do, I, I personally haven't used tags very much, um, but you can tag it with a particular subject as well. Um, so then that's all set and that's basically gone into the upcoming section of, of your tasks. I've got this one up here. I can click on the calendar and I can say, well, actually I'm doing that Saturday the 11th of June. So you might think to yourself that meeting up with the Queen is actually quite a big deal and the little checklist thing here isn't going to do the trick. Well, that's completely fine because they've got you covered. What you can do is click on the three dots uh, and you can go to convert and click convert again, and it creates a project for you, which is really cool. Uh, and then what you can do is hit the plus button, drag and drop it over to the left, far left-hand side to create a new heading. And you can say something like prep. If we create another heading, 
on the day or something like that. And then we can just put our tasks under there by dragging the plus button. Uh, so cut hair, shave, anything we want to do in preparation. And on the day we might need to wake up at 7am. And on that note, what we can do is select the right day that we want to do that. I can't remember what day I said, but if we go with Friday and uh, then we can actually add a reminder, which is basically a notification that pops up on your phone. We can set it to whatever time we want. So I'll say 7 a.m. And that will ping up with a message telling you to wake up in this instance or telling you whatever the ta particular task is. So yeah, so the project's a really useful way of managing your tasks. So a few other features, if we go into subscriptions, you can see here that I've got Apple TV renews. And what you can actually do is click into each one and you can go to the three dots and you can ask it to repeat a reminder either after the first one's been completed or regularly, uh, maybe once a year, we'll do this on the 5th of June. And it's set up, I've obviously got two there, which obviously I don't need. But um, if we did want to delete one, I can just go to that and click delete to do. And there we go. We've got it set up to tell me that Apple TV is going to renew every year at a particular date. So the one thing that I really want to share with you, which for me really makes this app really useful, is if we go into this section, I've set up a demo. Um, what I've done is I've created a project, but I've created a project template. So if you know you're going to do something, um, you know, multiple times in the future and you're going to need the same sort of project setup. So in this case, I've got a YouTube video process template. So I've got come up with video ideas. I've got film the video and then I've got post production tasks as well. Um, so obviously these are things that I'm going to be doing multiple times for different videos in the future. Um, so what I've done is set up that project as per the process that I showed you earlier um, by converting a task to a project. Basically all I've done is set it to Sunday, so it's sort of at the bottom of the page, so to speak. Uh, and I put ZZZ YouTube video process template just so I know it's a template project. Um, and what I can do then is if I want to use this sort of template, I click on the three dots up there and then I can click duplicate. And you can see I've now got two. So what we can do is change the title of this to things three video. And now I've got a project ready to go um, at the drop of a hat telling me the things that I know that I need to do as part of my YouTube process. Um, so I find that really quite useful. Obviously then I can set the, 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 uh, the time frames as to when I'm gonna do it. So I might say I'm gonna aim to do it Friday, but really I want the deadline to be, I can click on the three dots so I can add a deadline. So we say the deadline for this is Saturday the 18th of June, but I'm aiming to do it this coming Friday. Um, so basically the project's all there, ready to go, uh, and it's highlighting that I'm gonna do it this Friday. So basically those are really the highlights of the app. Just to sort of backtrack a little bit, uh, now we've done all those things, we can see that today, in today, all the tasks are loaded up, which uh, have been allocated for today. We've got upcoming tasks as well. Great feature of this app as well is you can actually sync it with your Gmail calendars and iCloud calendars, I believe, as well. Um, so it will all tie in. Um, by the way, you get a free cloud account with this as well. Uh, once you've paid the one-time fee, there's no subscription fees to this app. You, you can then set up a free cloud account which syncs all your tasks to the cloud and you can actually get a Mac app version as well and basically all your tasks will sync between your phone and the Mac app so that's a really really good feature too and another thing which I love about this app is basically how easy it is it's just so easy to use it really is um, so highly recommend it from that point of view. It's actually quite addictive in terms of how easy it is to use. I love the fact it has a widget available with this app as well. Um, basically you can add tasks really quickly through the widgets so you don't even have to go into the app. You just swipe along your, 
your iPhone home screen. You've got the widget there that you can download and uh, you're straight into the app and you can use it from there. Um, so I absolutely love that too. Disadvantages of this app are you can only use it on uh, Mac OS or iPhone OS, iOS devices. You can't use it on Android or Windows uh, devices, unfortunately. Also, they don't give you a online portal you can log into or anything like that. It all has to be through the native app which you purchase. Uh, so that is a bit of a downer in my opinion, but I'm sure they've got their reasons for that. But all in all, this app has really revolutionized how I manage my tasks in my day-to-day -day life. Since using this app for the first time, I can look back in the logbook and see that I've completed literally hundreds of tasks, um, which makes you feel really proud of what you've achieved over time, I have to say. Um, it's nice to have that sort of history book, so, so to speak, of what you've done and what you've achieved in life. All in all, I absolutely love this app and I'm sure you guys will too. I'll put a link in the description. It's not affiliated or anything. I just absolutely love this app and had to make this video. So if you do enjoy this app already and you've been using it for a while, drop me a comment below to let me know what your favorite features are and whether you I've missed anything crucial in this video, which I should have said. Feel free to let me know. Thanks ever so much for watching guys. If you have found this video to be mildly helpful, just even just a little bit, then please do remember to hit the like and the subscribe button. That would be absolutely amazing. And I look forward to catching you in the next video. Keep being amazing at what you do. Keep making videos and I'll catch you later.